well, in, in the, the daytime we were uh, mortar showers all around and, and uh, I helped carry out bodies and, and, uh, and wounded people. But uh, on the second night, uh, the, uh, it was even worse than the first night. I uh, was on guard. The other two guys in my uh, foxhole were, uh, again, sleep, uh, sleeping or at least resting. And uh, a piece of shrapnel came down from, from uh, some of the Japanese uh, artillery. And went bzzz, bang, landed right in front of my foxhole. It scared me. I jumped out of my foxhole into the one next to me. They thought I was a Japanese bonsai attack. Grabbed me, and one fella says, uh, "I've got him. Hold him. Stab him." Uh, and uh, I said, "I'm an American. I'm an American." Uh, they didn't believe me. Uh, finally, I convinced them that I was uh, an American recruit had just come over. Uh, but the next morning, uh, the, uh, one of the old timers in the group said, uh, he said, I, I reached in my combat boot for my, my knife and I had it, and he said, I was just within a fraction of a second of running it through you. So that was a close call. Uh, but uh, I, uh, one of the things that happened in that uh, three days was Japanese mortar landed in the uh, medical aid station and we lost 12 medics. Uh, and in my squad of, of 10 people, the uh, Browning automatic rifleman was killed uh, and uh, three others were wounded. So we ended up with just six of, of the 10 in, in, our, in my squad. But after three days, the, uh, the generals uh, recognized that they were up against some pretty tough uh, resistance there. So they pulled us back uh, for some rest and recuperation and, and uh, then put in some very heavy barrage uh, to uh, mellow the, the, the Japanese. But while we were back in, in uh, uh, for rest and recuperation, the, uh, uh, my squad leader said, Hesser, you look strong, we'll give you the BAR. So I knew that, that was, uh, the BAR man was a target, uh, and I wasn't real enthused about that, but I, th I wasn't the kind of a person to say, no, give it to somebody else. So I took the, uh, the Browning automatic rifle out uh, on a makeshift range and uh, fired a few clips uh, from a prone position, fired a few uh, from a standing position, which was the usual way of using the Browning automatic rifle in, in combat. And I thought I could manage it. I, I came back into camp and uh, a jeep pulled up with Captain Fremont P. Koch, uh, medical doctor. And uh, he said, is your name Hesser? And I said, yes, sir. He said, how would you like to transfer to the medics? We lost some medics in, in zigzag. I said, boy, anything's better than carrying this BAR. <laughs> uh, so I finished out uh, in the, uh, as a medical uh, corpsman. And uh, we then had two months of field training on uh, how to uh, bandage wounded people.